Some say all political careers end in failure, but Mariana Rajoy's has been swift and humiliating. Removed by a no-confidence vote he described as a very grave precedent for Spanish democracy, he told his senior colleagues at the People's Party headquarters in Madrid it was time to go. I think the time has come to bring this to an end and for the People's Party to continue under someone else's leadership. It was an emotional farewell after more than three decades in politics, but he will remain in place in a caretaker role until a special party conference decides who will replace him. It was the shadow of what judges called institutionalized corruption with his own party that brought him down. But Rajoy said the socialist government was extremely weak and Spain was now facing an uncertain future. In a bitter attack on new Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez, he said a Frankenstein government was being formed with disastrous travelling companions, the Basque nationalists and Catalan separatists, who backed his no-confidence motion. But political scientists believe with a new leadership, the People's Party can reinvigorate its base and distance itself from the taint of corruption. The government of, of Rajoy didn't never face this political crisis. They, they maintained all the party as it was before. They, they didn't make any kind of regeneration of the parties. The Socialist Prime Minister spent the day naming new members of his cabinet. They included a Catalan as foreign minister who had opposed last year's secession referendum. The former Catalan president, Carles Puigdemont, fighting extradition in Germany, described him as a man who had escalated hate in Catalonia. Not an encouraging start for Sanchez and his hopes of de-escalating the separatist crisis. David Chater, Al Jazeera, Madrid.